Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode Let's Play. We're going to dive right back into Elite Zoo South. There is, well, there's a mountain ahead of us. As I expressed, I think, uh, rather plainly and clearly and repeatedly last session. I'm taking on a challenge uh, that, uh, I'll be completely honest, I'm not 100% confident that I'll be able to overcome. It's something I've experimented with in the past. It's something that I've, like, been... Uh, okay with ish I would say in the past but this is like potentially the biggest undertaking of this sort um, that I've taken on and and perhaps <laughs> depending on how it goes ever will take on we'll see though we'll see I am excited it's that uh, well what's the term for it there's a term for it and it's slipping my mind right now but there's that like the 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 excitement of of potentially things going horribly wrong, um, but also potentially going horribly right. You know when you take on something that is difficult, uh, you know how like when you succeed it feels all that much better? That's what I'm hoping for here. <laughs> That's really what I'm hoping for here. But I'm excited for today's time lapse. We're basically going to kick things off immediately with a time lapse. We're going to dive in and hopefully complete the enclosure. My plan is to have a regular sort of episode today, which is, you know, time lapse and then some management stuff. Uh, hopefully the time lapse doesn't overstay its welcome, though I am prepared for that uh, potential. Uh, I would really like to try and finish this enclosure today, but uh, in a worst case scenario, we might need to extend this even further. But, you know, here's hoping. Fingers crossed uh, that we are able to actually get this entirely done. We should be able to. It's all just a matter of if I'm able to crack the... Uh, crack the code over here, as it were, with regards to how to build this dome. I might take a different approach to what I was taking last time. In fact, I almost certainly will. I have some different things in mind, some different plans. I've been mulling over some stuff. Uh, and I did see some comments as well with regards to some references that I might want to use and things like that as well. Um, I've uh, uh, th there's, a, there's a couple of thoughts um, and, and angles of approach that I could take over here. I'm hoping that one of them works, and I'm hoping it works quickly, because otherwise it'll be another... Uh, oh boy, <laughs> I don't I, I don't want to have the uh, water situation from last time where the first, uh, you know, 20 minutes of the time lapse is uh, like recording time. I mean, uh, of the time lapse is like unrelated to uh, the end goal. But I feel like uh, there's no time to waste. There's no reason to dally. Uh, it doesn't matter if I hide this because it'll just pop up again. I think we're good to dive in. Give me a second here, folks. I just need to, like, rack my head and go through my uh, my notes really quickly. I was able to go through, just again as a, as a little bit of a note, I was able to go through all of the comments uh, of the previous episode the one time, but again, as some of you are familiar now uh, with my process, I do like to go over them a second time, which is when I take my notes and, uh, and leave my... Um, sort of leave comments behind and stuff. I did see some of your name suggestions. Uh, you know, many of them have... Uh, uh, have registered. I've, I've taken some notes here and there, but what I think I'll do is after this episode is done recording, I might sit down with those comments and go through those uh, suggestions again. And then next time around, I'll, I'll go through and uh, just to make sure I've got everything because I never like, I never like leaving anybody behind, so to speak. I, I want to make sure that I have, in fact, noted down everything and I haven't missed anything. Uh, nothing's gone wrong there. So uh, just a little bit of patience there, I suppose. After today's session, I will go through those comments again. And of course, if you have new suggestions for either names of the, uh, the hot dog squad, the Gulpy Energy, the Pip Shot Smoothies, or the Enclosure itself, feel free to drop them in the comments of today's episode as well. Because of course, when I record next episode, I'll be taking into consideration today's comments, as well as the previous session's comments. So I just want to get that out of the way nice and early. I like to be transparent about that kind of stuff because it is very big to me that I, I do try and read every comment and take it all into consideration. I feel like it's a big part of uh, the community and whatnot. So uh, I just want to make it clear when, uh, when there's been a bump in that road, so to speak. Anyways, hopefully that's the uh, only bump in the road we'll be talking about today, folks. Let's dive on in. It's time lapse time. All right, folks, this time lapse goes significantly better, I would say, than the last one. Uh, I will also still say that uh, it doesn't go, I mean, arguably perfectly. Uh, it goes reasonably well, and I, I say that in a literal sense, like reasonably well, being reasonable with expectations, because going into it, I was being unreasonable, as always. Uh, it's a big construct, there's a lot of moving parts to it, and it's also exp like exploring and experimenting with stuff I don't often do, so I think you know where this is going. Uh, I get a lot done, I don't get it all done, though. Uh, but I am pretty pleased with how it does come together, um, changing my approach a little bit, using 
still going for that dome aspect. I, I know I, I saw uh, at least a couple comments with regards to like going for a more squared off approach because that would be uh, easier to execute, which is definitely something I've considered. And it is something that we're going to be implementing. This entire space is not going to be a dome. Uh, it will be a dome that sticks out of a more kind of rigid, rigid structured area, more like, um, you know, squarish area, I should say. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I decided to, to change my approach. And, and instead of uh, going the way we were going last time, I'm using kind of this like, I don't know what you would call it, like a like. Uh, the only term that comes to mind is like a, a ribbed approach, but I guess I mean that in the sense of like it looks like a rib cage, you know, kind of like coming up from the sides. But uh, yeah, I, I felt like this would work a little bit better. I felt like this would um, flow a bit more nicely, and I wanted to actually use the black over here and perhaps um, sort of sprinkle in some gold to have like a, a reference to the uh, uh, to the to the to the coat of the Nile monitor. Uh, for now that we only use the uh, the black and we get some glass and stuff in there as well, we'll still be working on this space a bit more. Uh, but I wanted to try and do a few different things. Yeah, you saw even earlier, momentarily, it was gone in a flash in the time lapse, but momentarily I experimented with some of the uh, the fencing pieces that came with the aquatic pack. Not the biggest fan of them. Uh, they're nice. They're nice, don't get me wrong, but like they're not as um, like malleable as uh, as I would want them to be for this uh, these circumstances. So we'll be going with something else, but I decided I'll, I'll come back to that later. Um, over here, though, yeah, we... Uh, I mean, again, trying to build like a, a, a semi-dome, I suppose. I don't want to do a full uh, rounded structure. You can see as well, like the, the, the sphere from which this dome would be cut is a little kind of squashed, if you will. Uh, and I prefer that. I might extend the rooftop a bit, but that's going to come later. This... Today's session was primarily focused on building these like these curved walls and just trying to make them work because yeah they've been a struggle but uh, but no I'm I'm pleased with how it all all kind of comes together. One thing that I realized that I need to do more of uh, and that I actually prefer doing is uh, kind of on the fly adapting to the limitations of these pieces. I think a lot of the time I get too caught up in like what I want it to be uh, that I'm trying to force things to be something they're not, so to speak. For example, I'm never gonna get a uh, you know. Um, these these parallelogram um, glass panes that I would need to perfectly snugly fit inside the uh, the, the 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 girders over here. I like I'm not going to get those. We don't have those. I'm never going to get them unless I go out and model them myself and kind of mod the game and pull them in, which you can do. But like for a couple of glass panes, I'm not going to do that. Um, I just don't think it's it's a uh, Plus the modding tools, I have I have played around with the modding tools a little bit, and they're a little uh, they they weren't working for me. I got to look into that a bit more because I was previously planning on doing some interesting modded like structures and signage and things like that, but uh, but that went nowhere when the modding tools weren't working for me. But anyway, a point being, uh, I need to start like when when the piece uh, is not being malleable, I should be malleable. I should uh, uh, I should be uh, be like water, as it were, um, you know, and and adjust and adapt to. Uh, to whatever uh, vessel I guess I have to be in, um, and, and so over here, for example, you're seeing that in how the uh, the the girder that goes kind of um, up and down in the middle of of the two that we put down earlier, you can see that one's not like a straight one. It's kind of got like this uh, this staggered, like stepped uh, motif, I suppose you could call it. And um, at first, I was so like resistant to it, and I was like, I don't like this. And then I was like, you know, actually. Uh, this could work nicely because again, it feels kind of like uh, uh, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if tessellation is the right word here. It's not a tessellation, I don't think technically, but it feels like a, a pattern. If it has like that feeling uh, of like a, a not necessarily like scaly uh, skin, but you know, it's a it's a reference to it. I wouldn't go so far far as to call it biomimicry, uh, but it ha it's it feels like a bit of a, a referential um, layout or, or treatment, if you will. So I was like, all right, let's, let's start embracing some of these limitations, especially when it comes to these structures. And I think that's maybe where a big part of my struggle is with this specifically. I, again, I mention it fairly often because this is my, I would say, uh, one of my like weaker points as far as, uh, making enclosures and stuff is concerned is like working with, uh, structures, working with, uh, buildings and whatnot. And I think a part of it is that I am, uh, I, I have I have ideas that you can't necessarily execute with uh, you know only uh, prefabricated modular pieces. Uh, and that, now I, I say you, I should say I. You know I'm sure others out there uh, who are much better at uh, making these things bend to their will uh, can do uh, can do the things that I may be thinking of, or or uh, you know they they know those like little 
tricks and loopholes and limitations and so never uh never kind of hit them in the first place you know what i mean um like if you know something isn't going to work a certain way you just don't try to make it work that way whereas i often go i understand you don't want to work this way but i'm going to make you work this way and it's worked in the past like i mean let's not forget the orangutan enclosure at uh, elitsu north right the game was not supposed to work that way i'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be how you use some of the things that we use in that enclosure but we made it work we made it work and uh but then again that was a bit more of an organic thing it was a little less uh rigid and mathematical and structured i mean yes there's a there's an architectural element to that enclosure as well, but it is less rigid and, you know, again, it's not like, oh, three and a three quarter degrees versus three and three th or two thirds degrees will make all the difference in the world and things lining up like that kind of stuff. Just like, I just don't have the, I enjoy the, uh, the, I enjoy the mathematics of it. I don't have the, uh, wherewithal or the patience, I think, to execute it in something in a system like this, where. I'm also struggling with things like, okay, great. Now the uh, this this bush is preventing me from selecting the piece that I want to select. It's just like, I think a big part of it also comes from the fact that like I've done like 3D modeling and stuff in the past. So when I have to like I have certain expectations, which of course I should not expect a video game to you know target. They do a very good job of what they do, uh, but I think that has for me mentally has put me in this headspace where I'm just like, oh yeah, I can do this in 3D software. So like. Obviously, I'm not adjusting vertices and edges and whatnot, but I'm sure I'll be able to figure this out. And I sit down and I go, what was I thinking? Why did I tell myself this would work? This obviously won't work. And a lot of the time I, I uh, get stuck in trying to make it work anyway. And so I think today was, uh, for me, it was in, uh, a big step in like just understanding and, and accepting that sometimes things will not do what I want them to do, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're not working. Uh, it just means I have to adjust my approach a little bit. And I do it all the time for organic stuff. But with organic stuff, it's easier. With organic stuff, it's like, well, yeah, it's organic. It it melds and flows and changes. With with structured stuff, it almost feels like it shouldn't. Uh, and yet, it must. Um, not to go all philosophical on you, but, uh, but yeah, that was a, uh, it, was a, it was a good kind of like change of pace and good change of approach for me as well, which I can hopefully apply in the future. Because I am quite pleased with how this is looking. I like the, uh, it's a large dome. It's an imposing structure. It's not... Uh, you know, it's uh, it's not exactly what I had in mind going into it, but I'm quite happy with how it looks. I like the patterning. I'm just, yeah, it's it's come together nicely. Uh, I also was tempted to like seal everything off with glass, and then I realized, you know what, this isn't really uh, a space where we would need to do that much. Like realistically speaking, I don't think we'd need to do that much like temperature control or anything like that anyway. And it would be nice to have like the ventilation and whatnot going on. So we do have a bit of covering rather than acting as a greenhouse kind of a space or you know an opportunity to like humidify the space and and, and whatnot. Uh, just using it as a, as an opportunity to make like hard kind of covers for our guests so they don't need to have their umbrellas out at all times and um, and leaving some space as well for the trees to grow through the roof I thought would be would be nice because I didn't want this to be all like short um, I also didn't want the structure to be too big it was it was a tough balancing act tough balancing act I think I'll have to look at a few more references from the real world just to, like see how like these spaces often end up looking uh, one thing I will have to adjust is uh, how much vegetation I put in the space because the animals are, well, we'll, t we'll touch on that after the time lapse. Uh, at least on the outer ring over here, the outer the outer ring over here, we don't have to worry too much because it's outside of the enclosure. But I want to make sure that we capitalize on that because on the inside of the enclosure, we'll have to be a bit more limited in our uh, vegetation as I learn shortly after this time lapse, actually. But yeah, you can see a little bit of like what's to come still. There's still a lot of work to do over here. We're going to be adding more rocks. We're going to be adding more uh, walls. It's going to be an entirely enclosed space still. Um, and we have to like decorate the space and the, fl the pathing and everything. There's a lot of plans. But unfortunately, this is more or less where this time lapse is going to come to an end. So we're not able to get it all done today. And I do talk briefly about uh, future plans uh, shortly after this time lapse. I'd love to hear your opinions on them. I do kind of, I'll, I'll start in just a moment's time. But uh, but yeah, for now, that is the time lapse. I do hope you enjoyed it. I personally enjoyed this execution a fair bit. I mean, yeah, there it didn't go 100% of the way, but pretty pleased with where we are. Back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse. And uh, you know what? I'm actually, I'm actually pretty pleased with how that went. I'm, uh, it was a bit of a struggle at the beginning. I'm sure I highlighted it during the, uh, uh, the, the time lapse it was you know there were some challenges but we overcame those challenges and what we've got now is uh it's coming together um it's still coming together <laughs> much as i kind of predicted i didn't get uh i didn't get the whole space done in one sitting and i suppose i shouldn't be surprised i also wanted to you know do a little bit more management stuff today but i'm thinking maybe maybe 
Maybe. I want to throw the idea out there. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so let me know in the comments down below. But I'm thinking that maybe next session is a full time-lapse session. We did one last week. We do another one this week. Mainly because we're taking on a pretty big undertaking. And what I think we'll do is, if we're lucky, if it works out, uh, in that uh, time-lapse focused session, what we could do is we could hopefully complete this and then come back and uh, and complete our work up over here or maybe down over here depending on how much time we have left after completing this obviously it all sounds like very wishful thinking i think the more likely conclusion to a full time lapse session next time would be uh would be to get this three quarters done as opposed to uh, <laughs> even even complete this one thing if i'm completely honest with myself but uh, we'll see we we shall see uh, that's uh, that's what i'm thinking right now actually if i'm uh, just kind of thinking out loud over here. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking right now. Is we'll uh, maybe do a full time lapse session next session and 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 just see how much uh, we can get done. But anyway, that's for uh, that's for 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 later. For now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a little bit more work done over here while we actually unpause. That's a big thing as well. It's like I like to actually unpause the game and uh, and have time move forward and and uh, oh hey, what are the chances we were paused on the 25th of December? Uh, but yeah, sorry, as I was saying, I like to have time move forward and, and see how guests are actually interacting with the spaces. There's a lot of very exciting stuff, actually, uh, coming up with the, the next update. I did a little, little bit more uh, reading into it uh, beyond just these uh, billboards where we can update our own, or rather, I should say, upload our own images and our own signage. We can also upload our own um, footage so we can make our own videos, which is extremely exciting. I, It's dangerous for me. It's dangerous for me because... Um, I can sink a lot of time into stuff like that. I can get really kind of like into it and I can sink a lot of time into something like that. And I kind of, I kind of want to. And I just don't know how, like it'd be, it'd be ridiculous it, almost for me to like spend, you know, four, five, six hours making, let's say a sign uh, over here. And then all, all we see of it is it'll be like, like dropping it down. You know, so I'm, I'm trying to like, trying to figure out exactly how to go about to implementing some of those uh, signage uh, elements into the, into our playthrough like do folks want to see me uh, make that stuff uh it's not really playing the game when i'm making that stuff it's a part of the experience but but also not like there's 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 a lot of thinking i have to do about how to take advantage of some of that stuff they're also now allowing us to make custom uh education board images uh but you have to like point you have to tell the education board like what it's about so that the ai like the the guests know what they're looking at but basically you can swap from my understanding you can swap these images out uh which is pretty cool um you can do some pretty uh you could potentially i should say do some pretty interesting and cool stuff obviously i want to experiment with it when it finally comes out i want to experiment with it a bit first to see how we can push it because again that's kind of what like it's just that's 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 the thing that tempts me most is like how far can we push certain things uh i've got some plans and uh, i'd love to know again like your thoughts on that as well it's just like I don't know if folks really do want to watch me uh, <laughs> design stuff, lay, lay stuff out, make uh, you know animations and whatnot. That's not really, I suspect, why uh, why we're why we're watching this playthrough, right? It's primarily for the the game itself, um, and so I got to like balance that out and, and figure figure that out. But anyway, I uh, just throwing it out there. But what actually got me onto that topic, the, the actual segue, was conversations about hitting play and watching the guests kind of interact with the space and move and things like that well the the new update is actually adding um more information about uh how, like path usage and stuff like that i think it's primarily for staff but i hope to see it for uh guests as well anyway uh that's all i really wanted to mention let's go ahead and unpause let's let time move forward and let's go ahead and uh and kind of like work on this space still i think it'll be our primary focus there will be other things going on as well of course warnings and things like that popping up but uh but I think what we'll work on while that's happening is uh, is still this enclosure. There's like you know security. Uh, there are um, the signage and stuff. All all that kind of stuff that needs to go up. We'll we'll go ahead and put that up. Go and say hello to everybody first. Where am I right now? Still uh, making my way through the uh, South America section. I eh? just checking out uh, Pachamama's garden. It looks like fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Morowa, are you? You are a female, so we should be fine there. Hopefully, we won't have any alpha fighting. Uh, I'll need to check for inbreeding. We might have to do a management session sometime soon. We also will have to do a trade session sometime too soon. What I'm thinking for the trade session, by the way, is we're going to go ahead and do what we did last time, maybe, and uh, and do like a live a live streamed. Sorry, that was like those words do not want to come out of my mouth. A live streamed trade session. Uh, where we just kind of like chill, hang out, go through the uh, 
go through trades, make sure everybody that wants something gets something, uh, be reasonable with our pricing, and then we'll have a nice and empty um, animal storage that we can move forward with, and we'll also have plenty of uh, conservation credits to add some of the uh, future animals I've got planned uh, moving forward. But, uh, but right, back, back, back on task over here. Uh, let's begin with some more security, I think, just to be safe. You catch my drift there. Do we actually, we have power all the way up here, don't we? Yeah, we do. We're missing power down over here. We might want to consider our options there. Uh, I think I'll put another camera down somewhere up over here. We got to make it lower. Oh, wow. This is too high for a camera, eh? Okay, fair enough. We'll, uh, what we'll do then is we'll go ahead and integrate it into some of these pieces over here. I would really rather you don't snap. V is the hotkey for, uh, for turning alignment on and off. By the way, I only recently was, uh, was told this by the comments, in fact, and so I thought I would share. Go ahead and drop you a bit lower. I don't want this like clipping out over here. Not really made for this kind of a situation, is it? We'll make do here. How about that? What's your radius? It's still nothing. Wow, you have to be a lot lower, eh? Fair enough, fair enough. Let's copy again and let's put it down. Like over here, I guess, is where, where it'll actually have to be. All right, let's see if we can get past these trees. I did, I'll be honest, kind of work in reverse over here. I, I, you should always work inside out, not outside in, and I've definitely worked outside in. Because um, like now it'll be more of a challenge to like, like work in some of these sections because I've got all these structures that'll be blocking my view. Potentially, potentially. I shouldn't say that like a definite. But there is that potential now. We got you over here. Got another one at that end, I think. Again, just minimize the need for security in the area. We have a lot of benches and bins and stuff for vagrants to tip over if they so choose. So I want to make sure that we are. I don't think I. I don't think I've gotten over the trauma of watching protesters knock over a uh, trash can. Honestly, it's just like what I. What I really like about the game doing that is that it, it kind of highlights maybe maybe unintentionally, maybe entirely unintentionally, but it kind of highlights the problem with. Uh, some uh uh with, with, with folks that are convinced they're doing the right thing especially when it comes to the conversation of like conservation and stuff like that there's a whole topic of um i don't know if you call it a topic of study but it's a whole thing where like for example people who drive um uh this is from years ago now uh, so i don't know if it's still relevant but like people who were driving hybrid the, the, the earliest adopters of like hybrid cars and things like that uh, also tended to recycle less um, and basically the, the, the line of thinking was like, well, I'm already doing so much for the environment. Uh, do I have to really do that much more? How much of a difference does it make? I'm already making the impact that I need to make. That was like the line of thinking, which is why, yeah, people who were, uh, who are, for example, just as an example, driving hybrid cars, they were like, okay, I'm already helping so much. Uh, I can cut some corners here and there. It's not, it's not a big deal. And so that the, the tipping of the trash can to me was like, you're here protesting animals were not, uh, like you're here protesting for all intents and purposes, uh, the, the mistreatment of, of nature. Um, and, and now you're tipping over a trash can. What, how does that, how is that helping anybody? You are not just, not just part of the problem. You're, uh, you're, I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah, you're, you're part of the problem with that. I don't know. It's, it was a, it was a weird moment for me. Cause I was just like, who, who do you think you are coming through to my zoo where everybody is basically always happy except for an occasional oversight here and there and just knocking over trash cans. How is that helping? How's it helping anybody? Now the zoo's got to put money aside to like fix up the uh, the trash can, and, and and you're taking funding and attention away from the animals because the litter still got to be picked up. What happens to litter that, that you know takes air and flies off? What if there's a plastic bag and there catches air and flies into one of the enclosures? Like honestly, that that <laughs> that moment threw me off maybe way more than it should have. But I was very like, whoa, hang on a second. Uh, and there there are certain. <laughs> There are certain organizations out there that um, that under the guise of doing everything for the greater good do a lot of uh, problematic things, and that's what it made me think of as well. That a lot of uh, a lot of historical monuments have been disrupted and things like that. It's it's a weird, it's a it's a touchy subject to somebody who loves both ends of this conversation spectrum, right? Like I love history, I love uh, I love. Uh, 
everything we do in create but i also care for the environment it's, it's a tough it's a tough thing but that it's funny how these little things i know it's just like how somebody just tipped over a trash can in a video game but it gets me thinking because it's like very uh, perhaps unintentionally it touched on a very uh, very very poignant point anyway let's get back to work over here my my pointless tangent uh set aside i mean I, I hope you all understand what i'm getting at there it's it's often hard especially when when going on a tangent to also be crystal clear i hope you all understand what i'm getting at there um with regards to my tangents though it seems that i was not the only one who found it a little strange perhaps only after i pointed it out but uh, quite a few of you agreed that that the use of the term uh uh what was it was it ex exploit was that the word uh where is it nile monitor better jog my memory here yeah exploited uh i'm not the only one who thought that word choice was a little funny for a variety of reasons and some of you were very much touching on the exact reason and concern that i had which is like well very interesting word choice for a very interesting and specific situation and uh i don't want to say anything without first seeing patterns so that's why i'm not like there there it's it's a potentially problematic uh, discovery or it's potentially just an oversight and i'm i like to give folks the benefit of the doubt i assume it's an oversight but it's a strange one it's a strange one it speaks uh to um speaks to uh to things that are like second nature and maybe shouldn't be or maybe should be um i think shouldn't be but <laughs> it's one man's opinion uh but yeah i i am glad to see that i'm not the only one who is kind of like hang on a second Hang on a sec. Uh, this is pretty good. I, I do like how the I like the ground and how it's like not flat over here. It actually feels like it's a bit more of a natural, naturalistic enclosure. Do we actually have cover here? We do, except for obviously where there's gaps up top, and that's I'm fine with that. We need an info center somewhere in the area. We do not have an info center, so these guys can't get umbrellas. The closest info center actually is probably like up over, uh, up over here, I think, right? Um, you, are you an info center? No, nope, you're just a memento. Yeah, you're the info center. We'll need a name for some of these as well. That's quite far to go for, for an umbrella. Though obviously I wanted to make sure umbrellas were easily accessible over here when you're gazing down upon the, uh, the animals. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Hey, buddy. Oh, they're so cute. They're such cute animals. Look at them. His tongue sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> I will never forget. Unforgettable experience. I'll never forget the first time I, I uh, well, the first time, the only time I fed a zebra. Massive purple tongue and we good. All right, back on task again. Where are we? Up over here. The zoo is getting so massive. It's just hard to keep a track of everything. Um, oh, actually, you know what? This was a concern. Oh, our coverage is a little too high, actually. That's a problem. Now, how much of a problem is it, actually? I should check. Because sometimes, like, it's a problem, but it's not really a problem. Okay, maybe it's a bit of a problem here. That's too bad. We have too many plants. Yikes. Okay. Okay, okay. I, did, I wanted this space to be a rather densely kind of, like, um, vegetated area, if you will. I'm worried I might not be able to do that. That's weird. I almost... I don't know. I, I guess I, I see the term tropical, and I go, oh, okay, well, lots of vegetation then. Um, but I guess that's not always the case, right? Wow, that's no getting rid of all of the reeds here is actually not enough. Oh, actually, it, it, it is enough to, to for the animal to ignore the, the trouble. I gotta figure that out. I think I'll figure that out as we uh, as we kind of get the this the space built. Because mm. yeah, I wanted this to feel like a dense, you know, kind of like a densely forested area, if you will, when you stepped in. It's like densely packed and whatnot, but if uh, if the animal is going to be free to roam, then I might not be able to do that as I initially hoped for, which is unfortunate. But we'll we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Going to get some more education boards down. We'll get an info center down maybe uh, maybe later. I, I think I should. It's hard to figure out exactly what I should concern myself with first because it's all kind of important. I mean, is it really important to put an education board down somewhere where nobody's going right now? Maybe not. Maybe not so much. I feel like we'll maybe want at least a couple more. Yeah, let's put one down over here. And again, the uh, the glass barrier and that wooden barrier as well, those are just placeholder. They will be replaced. And I'm actually going to create some housings, I think, for the uh, these education boards as well. 
uh, just to make things a bit more interesting. All right, let's go ahead and get some speakers down now. Educational speaker. Copy down there. We'll see what kind of a range we can get off of you. Thumbs up, so that's good. I guess, yeah, in a way, it perhaps would have been uh, a good idea to get the umbrellas out there first because the rain isn't permanent. Anyway, it is what it is. We, we made our call. We made our bed. Now it's time to lie in it. It's not the end of the world. So we've got one up there. Get one on this tree, perhaps. Or, oh, you know what? Go ahead and pop you down over here. Good coverage. Got both of them. Go ahead and duplicate you and pop you down over here. They're also, actually, on the topic of this new update, they're also introducing uh, custom audio. So now you can uh, have your own music and, and stuff playing out of these speakers. Well, not maybe not these speakers, but like uh, um, uh, animal talk speakers and things like that. Like That's pretty cool. That's, it's really cool, actually. I'm uh, I'm impressed. I'm I'm impressed. I'm uh, I'm 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 impressed and I'm pleased, uh, because it's it's just as easy to be like, now nah, whatever, it's fine. Leave it as it is. We'll update it when the next DLC comes. But they're not waiting for that. They're they're being proactive and whatnot. It's it's really it's really always nice to see when uh, when devs keep uh keep that like engagement or work rate or whatever you want to call it up. This stuff. Ah, see, this is not exact. I wish I could get a custom wrap for these. <laughs> I want it to be like the black and, and gold kind of deal we've got going on over there, but it's really not going to come out at all. This is as close as we're going to get, though, unfortunately. Copy down over there. Pop one down over here, sure. Go ahead and pop some down over here as well. Uh, what about here? Get one down over here. A little too... I, I never like putting too many of these down. But, video game. There was actually a comment a couple sessions ago about like... I'm not overdoing it with the donation bins. It's like a little in your face and it's very like aggressive and it's a turn off. And I to in real life, I totally agree. It's like... Okay, hang on. Like, give me a second to breathe before you throw another donation bin, you know, at my face. Uh, I totally agree in real life, but in the game, uh, you need uh, need those donation donation bins basically everywhere to. I've been told, so I've been told you need them everywhere to to capitalize on them. Uh, I think this is where this circuit is where most of the traffic is coming right now. So we don't have to busy ourselves or worry ourselves too much with this area. What we'll probably do is first of all stop you from inbreeding. Stop it. Stop it. Release you to the wild. I need to... The warthogs are, are constant work. They're a constant work. Um, but yeah, what was I, what was I getting at? Um, right, I, I don't think we'll see too much traffic up over here until we figure this path thing out, which, you know, maybe, maybe we do that right now. That might be worth doing right now. It's doing okay. You gotta use a washroom. Oh, you know what? All right, hang on a second. Let's try and figure this out here. If I, if I, I'm like tempted to write washer toilet block. I was like, I know it's not called a washroom in the game. I didn't remember for the life of me what it was called. I don't think the path will connect here. And I don't know if guests are able to like hop into it. I've been told that some things don't actually need to connect. They just need to be adjacent. But I imagine the, the washroom is a bit different. I actually have to be able to walk into it. Yeah, I don't think we have room here. We have room up here. We do. Hook you up over here. Too low, it looks like. Come on. Come on. There we go. Got the washroom. Can't get too close. If I rotate, maybe. Here, I do. I mean, I like the rotation because it, it flows a bit more nicely. I have to cover up the flooring or something. I don't necessarily like this like bumpiness that it gets. I might want to cover it, or or at least have a. Well, I'll be having like a, a roof over these stalls and whatnot, so maybe we'll use that to cover it. But there's a washroom. I want to get an info center as well. 
don't know if this is the spot for it. I really want to see guests interacting with this area, though. I could put an info center up over here. Right now, everything has to be on this side. That might work. Actually, you know what? I kind of like that idea. Why don't we see how it fits, if it fits. There we go. Obviously, we'll have to move the benches, but I just want to see how this works first. Smack dab in the middle there. Yeah, I like that. I will have to figure this out. Sure. You know what I should do? I should, well, for one, take a look at my work zones here. Make sure we get uh, Africa West. These guys are included. That's one thing. The other thing is I actually want to go ahead and take a look at my staff. Take a look at these star ratings and... Again, I wish there was like a select all button. Oh, I tried control A there for a second. There's no select all. There's no shift click and select a huge line. I'd love to see some of those things get added. Oh, on which note, again, another thing coming back with the next update, uh, multi-select for animals. You know, we, we had it for like an episode, maybe two episodes um, in, in, in um, franchise mode. And then they had to remove it because it was like buggy or something. I forget exactly what it was now. I didn't experience any bugs, but it must have been a problem. Uh, and they, they they had to remove it, but they bring that back. And they're actually also, on the topic of franchise mode, they're actually introducing uh, multiple entrances. Um, I almost didn't realize I didn't get them all upgrading. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, they're introducing multiple uh, multiple entrances for all game modes, they were saying. And, uh, and that's pretty exciting because uh, with Elitsu North especially... Uh, some of you will remember, we had a long time where we kept talking about like, well, can't we, uh, oops, how can we get guests to visit the farther reaches of the zoo where they're like entering at one point, they're not seeing everything. Uh, and so it looks empty and it looks rather sad at times. Now it did get solved ultimately at Elitsu North and I was very happy with that, that, you know, guests were naturally moving to the farther reaches as I, as I am calling it of the, uh, the zoo. I don't think we do in fact have an escape point. Some of y'all pointed one out that, uh, Completely slipped my mind. I saw it mentioned in the comments, and I was like, "Okay, I got to keep a keep a, an eye out for that." But uh, I promptly forgot to. My apologies. Yeah, it looks like we do have one over here. I hate that it it hide. Like, why would you? Why would you hide it? <laughs> These are important. Do not. That should be as far as like the uh, the depth is concerned. It should be at the top. It should always be visible on top of any physical uh, object. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if I go into that habitat view, I should see the red mark as opposed to the outline of the tree. I don't care about the outline of the tree. I need to be able to see if the animal's about to escape or not. The outline of the tree is irrelevant. Um, where, where, where do these guys go? There you are. Invisible in the night. It looks like we are all good. Ooh, are we? Yeah. They can climb this, but they can't get out. Interesting. Interesting. I'll, uh, I'll live with that for now. Again, this is kind of like temporary anyway. Play that, and then I go into adjust something that is ultimately going to be irrelevant. A little bit better. Might actually use these little, like, these kinds of forms and opportunities to make some interesting uh, visuals. Where was I? Um, staff, they're adding staff, they're adding multi-select. Oh, right, they're adding multiple entrances. So, for example... All right, at Elitsu North, we were never able to do it, but over here, even at Elitsu South, we have our entrance over here, but guests aren't necessarily making it all the way out, out over here, at least not in the same density. So it was never an option in franchise mode to make another entrance, though you could do it in like sandbox modes and things like that. Uh, however, with this new update that's coming out, I mean, hopefully sometime soon, we will be able to make multiple entrances at uh, in, in franchise zoos as well. Now, I don't know if we will do that. Maybe. It'd be kind of cool to like build like a, I don't know if it's going to be over here or if it's going to be up over there or what, but like build like a, a parking lot and that kind of thing and, and actually have it be functional. Like sure, you'll never see cars in it, but we could make our own custom entrance. Might be a quote unquote waste of time. It's like there's so much other stuff to do. Why are we spending time doing that? I'm going to think about, but, uh, but it is interesting that they are doing that. Um, and I understand why they didn't initially because again, part of the challenge in franchise mode is to make sure you are, uh, you know, making money, make sure that animals are being visited and all that kind of stuff. You got to plan your paths and stuff. I was okay with it as much as it was sometimes a little unfortunate that like, you know, some animals that we wanted to see get love didn't get love. Uh, I did understand where it was coming from. And so, uh, 
So it's actually interesting to see the, uh, the decision there change. I would sit on this bench. I would, I would sit on this bench and just chill. Enjoy the, uh, the sounds of the waterfall. Enjoy the sky turn this burning red. You'll see some of the stars in the distance. Watch the trees slowly get lit up. Wish there was more of a factor for, for that. Cause I, I mean, again, now we're fucking well beyond what's reasonable, but it'd be cool to see guests actually care about that kind of thing. How do you even go about building a system like that though? You know, those clouds are adorable. I could definitely chill on this bench. Bit of a gap over here that needs fixing. There we go. Using kapok trees as as bushes. Where's my where's my bench? Yeah, look at that. Quite pleased with the space actually. This space has become a lot more than I'd initially anticipated. A lot more than I'd initially expected. And uh and I'm I'm very pleased to be able to say that. I was worried about it not being too uh too interesting or too exciting a space, but uh but as we move along, I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited. It's nice as well to see guests actually arriving over here. That's promising. What do we have over here? Stressed animals, low welfare. What's going on? Attracted protesters. All right, what's going on here? Oh, I see what's going on here. You are glitching out. What's going on here? Move you. I just, I don't understand why these glitches have started coming. Why they've started happening. Uh, you're attracting protesters because of a lack of space. Base. I'm guessing that's a population issue. Because they still have the same amount of space, so it must be a population issue. Fair enough. And we have an issue over here as well. Let's go ahead and deal with this because this one's quick. We know this is an easy solution over here. Keep. Get these bet. Come on now. Come on now. Let me click. There we go. Excellent. Take a look over here. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a space issue. I would just like to click on this set of gates, please. <laughs> it opened right as I was going to click. I was like, no. There we go. Cool. Seven and six. We're definitely seeing some overcrowding over here. Um, I'm gonna pause real quick. I need to like, I I've, I think I've neglected these poor uh, these poor lemurs for far too long. The red ruffed lemur. Let's take a look over here. Three to thirty. Oh, okay. One male, twenty nine females. We have too many males over here. Who gets to stay? a lot of potential for inbreeding we got one oh, i'm thinking oh haja's fertility is very low so we shouldn't even look at haja haja's got to go um hmm nan nan ten nine i should probably stay but let's see no inbreeding issues got some over here you're on contraceptives Put you on contraceptives too. You are. Okay, cool. So Nantenaina should stay. Get you off contraceptives. Um, oh, I see the problem here. Navigable climbing areas have been reduced. Uh, okay, okay, okay. This is a different problem altogether. But, but with that said, I should still reduce the number of uh, males in here. Um, just have a few, a few too many. Oh, you know what? Not even. It's only... What the hell? What's going on over here? He's in the trade center for some reason. I should get him out of there. We have somebody else set as the uh, the dad, I guess. The prime dad. Go ahead and send Hadza and Mahafli over to the trade center. We'll get Nantenaina out because I think that was the uh, 
man with the best stats. Um, go by name, maybe. And yeah, let's go ahead and move you. Invalid destination. Come on now. <laughs> Get you in here, and what about our others? This is a bit more reasonable. So what's actually gone wrong, though, isn't uh, isn't the population. It's that they're not able to climb anymore. And I couldn't tell you why. Another one of those weird bugs, I guess. The like we we had this with our capuchin for the longest time. Yeah, I see. I just had to select that. And then save its placement, and now the uh, space stress has reduced. It's not gone yet. I uh, mean, something else is broken somewhere else as well, I guess. Where, what, and why? Also, apparently, too much short grass. I don't know when that happened, but definitely fix that. Get some more soil in here, perhaps. I don't know where there is short grass. I mean, I guess this is short grass. This is short grass. Yeah. Reduce it a bit. There we go. Up the intensity a touch. That was a very loud uh, grunt or whatever that was. That was a not, not a sound I would expect. All right. Are we really still something broken up over here? Oh, it's nice to actually see these guys use this stuff, though. Not so much effort making it. Do I need to that sort of a thing? Are you? Oh, huh, yeah. Fight the coat. Just taking a nap over here, buddy. I feel you. <laughs> it's actually pretty adorable. It looks like a completely different animal with this coat. I'm trying to remember exactly what it looks like. It looks like something else entirely. It looks so relaxed. Good stuff. I like the view from their little They're they're like they're like floor to ceiling windows over here. That's quite the view actually. Can you imagine having this view like going to bed with this view? It's not it's not a bad view. This guy's staring him down for that primo spot. Alright, what are we looking at over here? Still still short. I don't think it's because we have too many uh too many animals. It's all climbable as it should be. This is all good. Yeah, I feel like it might be this actually. Come on now. Come on now. This game and its collision boxes sometimes. Oh my, come on. Seriously, select the wall behind the... <laughs> killing me, game. You're killing me. Take extreme measures here now. Undoing should fix it as well. Hmm. All right, maybe we need uh, more climbing. I, I, just, I don't remember that being a thing, but hey, if it is, then it's not a problem. I guess I'm glad I caught it. Maybe we do have too many... Um, too many of these little guys. Pop you down over here. Let's actually pop this down. I want to make sure no one's able to clip out. That's the other weird thing about climbing is like people are able to clip. Up over here, maybe. I don't know if it'll actually work, but in theory, it would. 
got a maturing beard's tape here. We'll need to take care of that. From 44 to 45. I mean, okay, so it did help. Not going to be much. Forty-five to forty-six. Okay, like one step at a time over here. Right, I could do some like. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't quite like it. What if I get you out a step and do like oh, here we are accessories. It's like one thing at a time. Well, don't want them clipping. All right, we should we should take care of the cassowaries first. Low welfare for these koalas as well. Got to take a look at that. All right, where are you? Where are our younger ones specifically? Where's my entrance? Up over here. There we go. So needed something to, to be able to pick out the animals with. All right, let's go ahead and get Waru and Waru away. Hold on a second. They're not all the same age. It's just uh, the, 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 the line's just pointing in the same direction. Um, I need Cassowary. Southern. Asari specifically. All right, three point four years. So it's Waru and Waru. Yeah, I would never. I wouldn't have picked out a pair that had the same name. <laughs> as funny as that might have been, both of these need to uh, release to the wild. You know what? Let's uh, let's get them in the uh, in, in in the trade center. They're 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 our first southern cassowary babies. Maybe we'll trade them out during that trade session I was talking about earlier. But Waru and Waru, let's go ahead and send you to the trade center. Yes, cool. Right, that shouldn't be a problem anymore. Back to our lemurs. I'm I'm really actually quite surprised with the with this trouble. Unless I'm missing something, we should we should we should be fine. But oh come on now, we just find you overcrowding over here now. What do we got? That's a reasonable assessment of the situation, I suppose. Batemok is the father. Let's get Tupac. Who is the mother, though? None of these. Do we need a new female? Seems to be the case. Oh, man, look at that. So cool. So cool. I kind of wish the grass wasn't here to block the view, but uh, all right, sorry. Need. Watermark is the father. Any one of them can be the mum. So who's best? You are, I suppose. All right, fair enough. Go ahead and get everybody else out of here. You two and you as well to the trade center. I should actually name you properly. Everybody knows, including myself, that you're the mom around these parts. All right, cool. Now we can, well, first let's check on this bear's tape here and let's also check on our koalas. Why, why do you have low welfare? Space. Oh, are you stuck? How is space? A, well, so, something's up. Something's up. Why is, why is space a problem? This is always the same amount of space they've had before. Not enough climbing. Oh, come on, man. All right. These bugs will be the death of me. Don't, don't run. I need to Grab you. Come on. All good now? Yeah, okay. All recalculated. Space is good. Social is going to... There we go. Bump up. Bugs, man. Another dead warthog over here. Oh, we got flies. Yo, bring a vet. <laughs> Don't think I've ever seen that before. 
nasty. Yo, look at these crowds too over here. That's nice. This might be actually the busiest I've uh, we've seen this space. What are you protesting? A koalas? What's wrong with you? Why are you grumpy? Not grumpy. Too many adults in this group. All right, fair enough. I don't know if I agree with that assessment. I guess you're on contraceptives. Take a look. Not about my assessment. I should probably take a look at what the game says. Koala. We need one to three. One male, three females. All right. So Liam. William is staying, obviously. Still, still, still a baby, still juvenile. So Liam and... Um, you're the only one, yeah, to the Trade Center with you. Now they should be fine. Try oh, there we go. I was like, just trying to find one so I could get, uh, get a quick assessment. Yeah, it looks like we're good. All right, cool. Back once more for lemurs. For real this time. I mean, I say that, and then I see this is red. These protesters are better leave. What's going? Why? What's the problem, man? Where are you? I hate that it does this. So they're able to get there, but they're not able to get out. So silly. That'll solve that problem. All right, cool. Now we can look at our <laughs> lemurs. How many times have I said that today? Take it part way there. There we go. All right. What are we looking at here? You. Tell me. 47 out of 64. Like, yeah, you'd think we would definitely have noticed this degree of needing more climbing platforms and stuff, right? Like, hey, would you look at that buddy up over here? Like, we would have definitely noticed that, like, oh, we're really short. We would have noticed that sooner. Um, I feel like as a, I'm, like, missing a section somewhere where a quick click might f might have fixed the problem, but... It is what it is. What are you going to do about it? I don't mind these uh, these changes we're making, but wish I knew why we're over here. I mean, it, it might be. It might also just simply be like, yeah, there are more animals now than there were before, and so we're uh, we're playing catch-up, and I just hadn't noticed previously. That, that is a possibility. I'm not setting that possibility aside, but uh, it's, a little, it's a little surprising. Like, this is not going to be enough. They need, they need significantly more, right? 60, yeah, still need more. Didn't have climbing here. I mean, I could actually give them some climbing here. Wouldn't mind that. Be careful that they can't climb out. Like I would do like a... This kind of a thing where... It goes up. Up, down as well. I mean, I could... Uh, I wonder if... Hmm. Okay, let's try try something here. It's underneath the racks right now, or the station, I should say. What if we flip you around? Raise you up so it goes over people's head and they don't have to duck, <laughs> ideally. Now that we could do this kind of a thing. And so now you can have them kind of go by over you in the central kind of circular area. I don't know if I am a fan of how it looks. We also got to make sure they can't like jump off and get up to the, the stairs or anything like that. Or up, up to the ramp or whatever. Pulling you over. There we go. Go ahead and get you. Oh, not the tree. Or the Scavola bush. Come on, man. I, I, I absolutely hate. Hate is a strong word. I hate the hitbox on the Scavola bush. It is just way too large. It doesn't make any sense. I hate it. Again, hate is a strong word. <laughs> and it's the word I'm choosing to use right now. Right, hopefully now they're not going to be able to get uh, up from here to get like out of the, uh, like again, onto the ramp or anything like that. I think we'll be fine. Let's see if this actually makes a difference even. Cool. 
Oh, no, 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 not cool. That is way too much now. Yep, thought so. Now they're able to escape. Because they're able to climb from here to there. All right, well. Had a feeling that was going to happen. Exactly why I did not move too far away. Escape all the bush getting in my way. Overall this a bit. Come on now. Lower this piece as well. Of course, there we go. Clicking on everything except for what I want. Don't, don't need the kid. Oh, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, much better. Much more reasonable. Alright, cool. That should solve that problem. We have some climbing back over here as well, actually. Doesn't let them escape or anything, but... I don't recall. Oh, yeah, you know what? I do recall that. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. At least uh, at least the problem has been solved. While we uh, got these lemurs able to enjoy their space again. Despite all the distraction that kept uh, coming up. You are an interesting looking thing, aren't you? All the rain's coming through. Very fascinating. <laughs> that coat, I'm telling you, it makes me think of something else. It makes me think of a different animal. And it's raining a lot this session, actually. I don't think we've seen this kind of, this much rain in a while. I really love their uh, their skin. Such an interesting like patterning and such such beautiful colors as well. And of course, our lovely little view over here, even in the rain, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Folks, as the sun sets on this uh, bench of ours, it's time for the uh, sun to set on this episode as well. Feel pretty good about uh, today's session. We managed to uh, tackle our enclosure. We managed to uh, tackle a bunch of problems across the zoo. A lot of them came up today, but uh, we can... <laughs> I guess we can happily say that nothing took a, uh, a back seat. God, that was terrible. Folks, that's the session. I hope you enjoyed today's session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts as well about uh, potentially next session being a uh, time-lapse only session. You know, just do a kind of like a full focused um, job on our new uh, space there. Uh, I'm, think I'm leaning towards that. Either that or another lighting pass. So you can see where like lighting has been done and where it's just it's completely pitch black up over there. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I mean, I'm, I'm, again, I'm not throwing out a vote or anything per se. It's not necessarily going to be a, uh, a a vote that makes the, the final call. I just want to get a quick temperature check, I suppose, to see what people are thinking. And then I'll, uh, I'll assess the situation myself as well, see where my head's at as I go in to record the next session. But uh, yeah, let me know down below. Folks, again, and as always, if you enjoyed, if you have any feedback or suggestions or thoughts, let me know down below as well. And as well, of course, as always, a... Massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.